Hello everyone, Charmantine here. Today is a quick video on how to enable web browser authentication on the Sophos UTM-9. Now, um, the this option is under web protection and web filtering. So what this allows us to do is um, ask a request that users log in to uh, or have to provide their username or password um, and uh, when, when browsing. And what we can do is based on usernames and passwords, we can dictate certain policies. Now, this is a pretty simple inst uh, pretty simple to turn on. So um, by default here, you'll see this section for default authentication, which will be set to none. So what we'll do is select browser in this case, and then the little checkbox between block access on authentication failure will, will be ticked. So you can hit apply. Another option that you have if you want is that you can enable d uh, device specific authentication and that what that will allow us to do is, you know, if it's a Windows machine, a Mac or a Linux, uh, go ahead and um, request that uh, that person log in. Uh, but in this case, if you just put default, all devices will be subject to that and then hit apply. Make sure that they hit apply uh, to make uh, to make those changes then hit policies once you hit policies um, then what we can do is as you see here for the username Sean I've applied a specific filter action so if you hit the plus here you can also do that for groups so for instance I made a group called support so you move over to support and then based on a time or if it's any time it's um, depending on what you need and the filter action so we can create other filters um, specific to that particular uh, users, but we'll have to first go to filter options and you'll have to create other filters uh, as you've seen in some of my other videos. Okay. And I'm sorry, um, I actually hit uh, filter options. It's under web filter profiles, filter actions, and then um, you know, you create it, you create your policy. You can see in my previous videos on how to do that. So now that this is enabled, there's one more thing we need to do. If you haven't done already under definitions and users, go over to users and groups, and then you can create users and then you can either assign them to a group or just have them as the, um, single users. There is a way to integrate this into Active Directory, um, but that's for another video. Um, so another, what we can do, um, if you go to web filtering, instead of browsers, you can go Active Directory or uh, an agent. Okay. So the reason why we like browser is that um, anything that's on the network will automatically be um, subject to this and it's very simple the agent requires installation um, the active directory I believe um, you'll have to be actually um, attached to the domain so what we can what we can do is uh, hit browser which will ask for the username which is it's, it's pretty simple and portable hit apply okay I have a I have a virtual machine here in this case this is Windows and um, now if I try surfing to say Google I'll be prompted for a username and password okay so if I enter my username and password I'll be granted access to the site and then from then on um, I can surf the website okay I'm getting privacy error here due to an unrelated issue though, but um, uh, but that is how the web authentication works. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you uh, want a video on how to set this up on Active Directory, let me know and uh, I'll be glad to do that for you. Um, you can also visit my website, seanmancini.com, and you can always email me any questions that you have or comments at sean at seanmancini.com. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night.